Have you ever noticed how butterflies seem to burst out of nowhere in summer? One of our best known is called the monarch butterfly. Here's something you'll see happening on a milkweed plant in spring. Monarch butterflies always lay their tiny eggs on the underside of the leaf. Let's take a closer look at the butterfly's egg. This is the monarch's egg under a powerful magnifying glass that makes small things look bigger. In a few days, a tiny animal begins to form inside the egg. After a week, you'll see something chewing its way out of the shell. After eating the shell, it starts right in on the milkweed leaf. But this is no butterfly, it's a little caterpillar. When its skin gets too tight, the growing caterpillar simply crawls out of it, wearing a new skin. This happens several times, but it's still not a butterfly. When full grown, the caterpillar attaches itself to a leaf with its hind legs. Soon the skin will crack open. Wait till you see what happens then. The caterpillar's skin cracks and starts to peel upward from its head until all the old skin drops off. What's underneath? It's a shiny case called a chrysalis. If you could look through the thin walls of this case during the next two weeks, you'd see the insect preparing for the biggest change of all. Can you see wings? Where's the new head? Where are the legs? When you can see the wings forming, the chrysalis is soon going to crack open and out climbs a monarch butterfly fully grown. At first it is wet and wobbly. A few hours later its wings spread large and strong, ready to fly. For some reason, birds won't eat monarchs, maybe because of the way they taste. If birds won't eat monarchs, they may not eat other butterflies that look like monarchs. One of these is another kind of butterfly called Viceroy. Can you tell the difference? monarch feeds on a sweet liquid found in flowers called nectar. It sips food and drinks water through a tube that tucks under its head when flying. In fall, millions of monarch butterflies fly south where there is warmth and more food. They fly to Florida and Texas and California, sometimes as far as Mexico. Each October, the children of Pacific Grove, California, welcome the monarchs to Butterfly Town, USA. When winter's over, the monarchs will fly north to live the marvelous story again.